This is Tom Blair with Inside Colorado Wrestling. Uh, we're doing the Boundary to Boundary Colorado High School Wrestling. Uh, our interview today w is with Presley Pepacek from uh, Highland High School in Alt. How you doing? I'm doing all right, yourself? Not bad. Uh, this is uh, one of the series of uh, episodes I'm doing for all the, col all the high school uh, teams in the state. Uh, making sure that everybody gets recognized, uh, everybody from the 5A schools down to the 2A schools, and also letting the wrestling community know about all the uh, schools that have wrestling. Um, so you've been in wrestling for uh, quite a few years. I've watched you on the mat when you were younger. I refereed you. I've even been in your corner a couple of times. So why don't you give me a little of your wrestling background uh, career-wise first, and then we'll go into your coaching career. Uh, yeah, I started when I was about three years old. Uh, my dad got me into it. I started at Valley Metro. Um, throughout middle school, I went to Valley and then transferred over to Milliken, uh, where I'd go to high school at Roosevelt. I was a uh, four-time qualifier and three-time state placer. I got second my uh, senior year and then went on to college at Western State. And I wrestled two years there where... Uh, I got hurt back to back years, so that kind of cut my uh, college career a little shorter than I wanted it to. Uh, okay, um, going back to your high school career, um, a lot of kids don't get the chance of doing the uh, walk through the tunnel onto the finals match. How was that? No, it was it was awesome, and uh, you know I was there with my my head coach Mike Pilato, and that was actually the last time he got to walk through as the head coach. So it was super cool. Yeah. Now, have you have you done that yet with your kids at your program? No, I've had two uh, two state finalists, one state champ, and uh, I, their their fathers both walked them out. Okay. So, how many years have you been coaching here? Yeah, uh, this will be my fifth year actually going into it. This is my fifth year. Yeah. yeah. And where else have you been coaching? Uh, I started coaching at uh, Windsor Middle School under Gary Mock, who's probably one of the best. Uh, uh, middle school coaches in the state and he's produced a lot of kids up to the high school and it's really shown for Windsor now so it was it was awesome being under him and kind of learning how to get to know the kids and you know kind of communicate with them on their level so yeah. that's helped a lot. Um, what were the results of last year's team? Uh, last year we had let's see um, Logan Lewis took third, Zach Tittle took third and uh, let's see I think that's that's it um, we had five qualifiers, two placers, and uh, three guys who didn't place. But uh, I think we took 15th as a team, which is a little bit lower than, than what we wanted. But we're, we're back this year, so. Okay. Um, having kids get the results uh, or not get the results they wanted, uh, it's kind of hard as a coach. Oh, it's super hard because, you know, you can't go out there and do it for them. So. Um, you can only, you know, give them the best that you can and hope that they can go out there and do it themselves. Okay. Um, what's your preseason uh, pre schedule look like? Because I know most uh, schools now uh, are in session and everybody's got some type of preseason workout. Yeah, we come in here two times a week. It's all voluntary, um, but with it being such a small school, uh, a lot of my guys do play football. And so, therefore, uh, that comes first, obviously, and I don't take them away from that at all. So, uh, we just have, you know, Monday, Wednesday at 5 o'clock that we come in and we roll around for about an hour, get a little workout in, and call it good. Now, is that open to anybody else or just a, your kids at your school? Uh, just the kids at my school, mainly. Um, we, we, we don't, nobody really wants to come all the way up to Alt, so, but, uh, you know, we, we welcome kids, you know, but mainly the guys that show up are our guys. Yeah. Uh, what should your returning team uh, members look like? You know, we got we got a bunch of returners. Um, I had one senior last year at 170s. He actually uh, ended up only coming out half the year. So um, we're, we're back almost full strength. Uh, we got um, 
you know, like I said, five state qualifiers. And then last year we had a transfer uh, from Rocky Mountain, who was a state qualifier that didn't get to wrestle due to the, the new Chassa rules. So, um, you know, we're going to be, uh, hopefully, hopefully we're, we're tougher than last year and we should be still pretty tough. Now that transfer, is he able to wrestle this year? Yeah, he's able to wrestle this year. He sat out his full year of competition, so he's able to wrestle for us this year. Yeah. I know Chassa has a um, transfer rules, and sometimes it just seems hard on, on the kids uh, that are just trying to get a good, better education or get away from uh, situations that weren't uh, good for them at the other schools. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what is your incoming freshman uh, class look? You know, we got probably about four kids coming up, and that's, that's about a normal year for us. Uh, I got a kid that um, actually placed at middle school state, so we're looking forward to you know him coming in. Um, but like I said, we got you know a couple little guys and a couple big guys that are coming in. So, do you have a good, strong middle school uh, program, or do you run that program? Uh, I don't run that program. Last year, uh, Kenny Dimmitt, who actually came over from uh, Roosevelt, he was actually my coach when I was in middle school um, when I was doing club over at Roosevelt. Uh, and he came over and took over the program when I came over to Highland, and uh, um, I'm not sure if he's coming back this year or not. So, but overall, we have a pretty strong, you know, middle school program, and Kenny did a great job of teaching them the, the basics. And um, you know, for a, a school this small, where we got about 200, 250 kids in it, um, you know, getting five to six is, is pretty good. And our basketball team is, you know, real tough, so it's hard to hard to kind of convince the kids to come out when our basketball team is solid too. So. Right. It seems like some of the kids rather sit on the bench as a basketball instead of putting in the time in there and being on the mat. Uh, possibly. I just think that, you know, some kids, you know, just uh, maybe aren't cut out for wrestling, and, and that's what it is, and the ones that want to be here are the ones that I want. So, What's your coaching staff look like? Uh, this year, my coaching staff is I got my dad, Kevin Papachek. This will be his fifth year here up with me. Um, Dan Lewis, who was the former Eaton uh, head coach, he, he'll be here with me. This is his, I believe, uh, third year coming with me. And then uh, we actually just got a new uh, assistant coach, Jesse Reed from Paonia. So that'll help our little guys a lot. He was a four timer for Paonia, so that'll be good to have him in the room helping these little guys. Now, Dan Reed, do you uh, back on him uh, or, or uh, rely on him quite a bit? Seeing he was a college coach, also. Uh, yeah, Dan, Dan did you know a, a lot, a lot for me, or he has done a lot for me and still does. Uh, he, uh, you know, gives me some pointers and stuff when it comes to little things, you know, teaching kids or um, how to handle other situations as well. So, What does your season schedule look like? Uh, pretty sure it's about the same as last year. Um, you know, we head out to Akron for our first tournament and then uh, go to a couple other small school tournaments and then we hit the, uh, um, the big Northern Colorado tournament, which is definitely our toughest tournament of the year. And, you know, hopefully our, our two-way, we're one of the few two-way schools there, so hopefully we can, you know, have a good representation of, of our little our little schools there. And right. then we uh, finish out with a couple duels, and, you know, we don't duel anybody who's who's two-way, so it's it's a little different. We have all three-A duels, so. And why is that? Uh, just where we're located, uh, you know, it's hard to get out to the Yumas and the Rays and, you know, all the, all the, the teams on the other side of the mountains as well. So, you know, with the league that we're in, uh, and half of our sports up here at Highland are 3A, so wrestling is one of the few that is 2A, so we just are in the same league as those other sports. Now, Chassix uh, has a new uh, point system for the, uh, for the wrestlers. Instead of going like last year, they had uh, points per team, and this year, is, I guess, it's for each individual wrestler. Um, how is that going to affect your schedule or are the wrestlers themselves? You know, I don't, I, I don't know a whole lot about the, the system, but, uh, you know, I, I think that it could cut down, in my opinion, some, some duel tournaments just because you're, you're getting points per duel now instead of uh, tournament points. But as far as, you know, for an individual, um, I think it kind of cuts down kids maybe, uh, you know, sitting out some or, or going to, to other stuff when the whole team's not. So I kind of like it when, when it comes to that, so... And it looks like you can send your uh, top tier guys to individual tournaments uh, or uh, like the Doc Buchanan or the Iron Man, and that's not going to hurt them point-wise. Right, or your team. It's not going to hurt your team. Team-wise. Yeah. And I, that, that, is a, that is a big thing, and I think I, I like it for that, for sure. What are your season goals? 
you know, just to come out and get better. That's that's our, our daily goal, actually. You know, we come in and um, uh, as we have up on the wall, it says check it at the door and let's check your ego at the door and come in and do everything you can to get better and just get better 1% each day. No, uh, with that, what does your numbers look like in the room? Oh, uh, we should have, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 kids, um, which, you know, last year we were able to put almost together a full lineup. We had to, you know, have a couple of kids move up a weight or two, but, um, you know, we're hoping to have one or two open spots at, at the least, or at the most, I should say. So, um, you know, we, and it depends on what our incoming freshmen come in the way. And... Now, I've heard Pennsylvania going to uh, drop from a 14 weight class system to down to a 12 weight class system. Do you think something like that should happen in Colorado? You know, it, it's tough to tell because those those big schools still do field a, a full team. Us little guys, um, you know, it, we, we can't compete when it when it comes to tournaments um, with those with those big schools for the most part, just because you know they got you know 10 times the kids we do in schools. But I think it's it'll help um, maybe get some more kids out per se just because there are less weights and they might be, you know, have a more competition. And I think it, you know, other people think it's the opposite, but nobody wants to just go in and walk into a weight. There needs to be a little bit of competition, so. All right. Well, Presley, I thank you for your time. Uh, good luck in the season. This is uh, Tom Blair with Insight Colorado Wrestling for Boundary to Boundary Colorado High School Wrestling. Thank you. This is uh, Highlands High School in Alt, uh, the wrestling room, practice room. It's about a mat and a half uh, size for the service area with uh, six uh, circles.